Yeah, I was I was shocked when I woke up on um, on Friday morning and I found out that it was actually it was him. So you know I'm still kind of debating how I like how I feel inside. Because I'm factoring in having. I knew him over the years, saw him a lot of the times in the locker room and around school. Proximity of the violence uh, did affect us emotionally. Our children were at a playground, and our nanny heard the explosions. Well, the way I see it is terrorism has a really loose definition. Because I'm sure if you asked anyone who's a victim of the Sandy Hook shootings, then you would say they'd be terrorized. And I'm sure if you asked anyone from the Boston Marathon, they too would be, you know, express that they'd be terrorized as well. I don't think that even in the scenario of war, uh, that we should suspend our basic values. I could understand waiving the Miranda rights for a very short period of time, just to, you know, in order to ensure public safety. But beyond that, no, this is a U.S. citizen. For a crime uh, of the magnitude of this, I think that uh, I, I think you waive your rights when, when you do something like that, when there's an atrocity like that. And so I don't think that, you, uh, that the Miranda rights fit in. They wouldn't just do it to take away rights from from an individual, uh, even though they uh, created such a, uh, a terrible act here in Boston. From what I hear, if there is still, uh, you know, a threat to the to citizens of Boston or this country, that that's why they do it. You know, it doesn't matter how terrible it is. He shouldn't have his rights waived or anything like that. I mean, the whole point of the justice system is that, you know, we treat everybody equally.